Hey right, broskies, um, I'm going to go over some just very basic GIMP stuff, um, and it's just basic, the basic tools of GIMP, uh, basically what you, what you, what you can do with GIMP, um, yeah, yeah, and, uh, we're going to do this by just doing a little tutorial as well along the way of how to design a t-shirt, because all sorts of people trying to do that stuff, all right, all right, you know what I'm saying, all right, so let's do this, right, open up GIMP. Trying to make these fast because I hate those like 20 man long videos. Ugh, oh, God. I could watch Grace and Adam during that time. Alright, so we don't gimp. And let's open up, uh, open up, uh, where is it? Oh, okay, t shirt. So, here we go. Now, as you see, when you open up stuff in the file and open, as you saw, um, whatever you just added goes on the right. So on the right there is um, the layers, the layers, all right? All right. Now, basically, so what you're gonna put on the t-shirt, you should put that on a separate layer. So open as layers, right over here, yeah. And uh, let's put the space thing on. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, now as you can see, now this picture of the um, area is like of space is bigger than um, the square, as you can see here. That's because GIMP makes um, the dimensions of it, of the area you're working in, with the same size as the very first thing you added. And as you can see, the shirt, so it fits a shirt. But so what you can do is um, this tool over here scale tool you just click this right here oh yeah okay and you're just gonna shrink this um, you can do this manually uh, or you could just kind of grab so this circle right here this little bad boy right here is in the center of the image so you can as you can see the cursor you can hit drag things to it and it makes it smaller oh yeah uh, oh my god it's so small all right all right, all right. Okay. So as you can see here, this, um, I don't, what is that? Like an octopus, some space thing? I don't even know what the heck that is. All right. So let's see this swirly thing. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's on top of the blue thing. And that's because literally this layer that it's on, the space layer is on top of this. So if we were to switch this and put the bottom layer on top of it and drag it, now you can't see it because it's over it. Um, now let's say for example, okay, so I want to show you a very fundamental principle. So I'm just moving this over right now. Uh, I moved this layer back up and I moved it over. See this bevel right here? That's the move tool. Um, some tools are kind of very basic. Like this is like zoom in, this is move. Um, this is the eraser, this is the paintbrush. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we moved this over, you can't see anything. So one of the really important aspects of uh, layered stuff like in Photoshop and GIMP um, is these layers. So if we were to use the erase tool, okay, um, if we were to use the erase tool and just erase like right here or over here, as you can see, it's just like white. Um, that's kind of just like paint shop stuff. So I'm gonna undo, edit undo. Uh, there's a special thing called the alpha channel and the alpha channel lets it so every time you erase things, you can see the layer beneath it and that's not usually activated by default okay so we got to go to this brother over here and right click on the layer and do add alpha channel all right so now if we were to erase we were to see the, the layer underneath it right so this is this is what makes photoshop and all sorts of things like good and unique right like um this allows us to do like so many cool things that you can't otherwise do without without the legs you know what i'm saying how are you going to get your rap cd out how are you going to get your rap cd out okay so uh, if you want to hide this layer for now because we're not really going to work on it we're just kind of putting it in so i right here you just click this little brother right here and this little brother's going to go away you know what i'm saying all right so we go to this this guy right here so this is our first real big tool the fuzzy select tool so basically you click on this bad boy and this and the settings for all tools are going to be in the bottom left um and so you don't really have to worry about all this right now, except the threshold. So, 
So when you click with this tool, it's gonna to select everything that looks just like what you clicked on. So if I click the blue, it's gonna select a, a much blue as it can. If I select the white, it's gonna stuck with the white. Now the reason I picked this blue shirt, of course, is it's so different than the white right there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, all right. So, um, now if I click this bad boy right here, see the white? So it selects all the white connected. You can see with the little, these little ant brothers right here. Uh, 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 man, huge muscles. Um, you see that it connects it pretty well, you know? It selects everything for me. That way I don't have to go with the eraser and just like slowly go. It's so quick to just do this. And now when you draw stuff or edit stuff, um, it's only gonna be in that section. So as you can see right here, um, you know, I'm drawing, drawing, but as soon as I, I slip, I can't, I can't go past that fuzzy, which is very useful. Now the reason it's useful is because since we did the alpha channel, we can, erase this whole section right here and not worry about actually erasing this nice gentleman's deltoid right here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Alright brothers. Alright brothers. Alright brothers. So so basically, you know, hit the erase tool, opacity is really high up, and you can choose a size. And you can just quickly erase all this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? Alright, you know what I'm saying. So and I can hit the select tool, select this white right here. And erase this brother right here. Oh yeah, keep his watch good. Keep his watch good. As you can see here, it's not very. There's still like white lines right there, okay. Um, and that could be a couple things. The threshold's not big enough, so basically the threshold shows like how sensitive it is. So it's a low threshold. So if I were to click this blue right here, see only part of the blue. So like it only selects areas that are the same color. So I'm not selecting this area because it's dark blue. If we're up this threshold right here. Click it again. Oh yeah, it's gonna collect a ton of this blue. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so we're probably actually just gonna do that. Um, so I select this. Uh, don't worry about this jeans. Who cares about jeans? And now when things are selected, everything that's editable about the selection tool. So up here at select, I can hit none and deselect everything if I'm tired of selection. Um, I could grow it, invert it. I could uh, shrink it. You know. Okay, but let's just go back to this thing right here. So we're gonna get this white right here. Now, as you can see, there's still some white here because if you were to, because when you select things, things at a really, really small scale are kind of like, see this white isn't exactly the white that we selected. It's like a mix between this and this. So the tool, the select tool isn't, is gonna ignore that. You know what I'm saying? So what you wanna do is there's something called feather edges. So basically if you select, um, it also, it's going to select the outline, but it's also going to let you bleed in a little. So if you keep on clicking with the erase tool, it's going to make it less and it's going to bleed more and more into the area. So basically, I usually put the feather tool on like five pixels. That way I can, um, I can just keep on clicking and get rid of that fuzzy area. So like, see if I click this area again. If I just keep on clicking rapidly, or just go over multiple times, it also it bleeds in and cut, gets rid of that white area. So we don't like this. Not to say we don't like white people. This has nothing to do with people. So okay, okay, oh, oh god, okay, right there, right there, right there. Okay. So as you can see, we got this nice gentleman. He is crispy as Chris can be. Mm, Captain Crunch. All right. So let's make this layer back. So let's just say you want to put this brother right here in the center of his shirt. Now this looks ugly as hell. Look at these points. They ain't sharp or anything. Uh, I don't know. Let's just make this. Also, if you want to kind of aim it, um, line it up real easy. With each layer, you can choose opacity. So you can make kind of transparent. Just see where the thing's going to be at. So that's a, look, that's a little swirl. It's a little too swirly for me. It's a little chocolatey, you know, a little vanilla. So let's shrink this a little. Uh, yeah. Again, make me hard just thinking about it. All right, let's put this brother right here. Let's put this brother right here. All right, so let's just say we want to, first of all, I don't like these jagged edges. They gotta go, okay? Let's just do a little art. And this part, you know, this takes a little eye, but anyone could do it. You can just kind of mess around with it. So, you know, um, you, so with the eraser and with all these tools, you can usually change the brush head. Let's do this light little brush guy. So right now we have this guy, which is dark, and then it fades quickly. Over here, it's dark and it fades gradually, you know? And make this a little bigger, you know. This way it's a nice, it's a nice kind of smooth transition, you know, nice kind of smooth transition. Alright, let me do it with the new brush head, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, yeah. Now let's make it even bigger. Now, it looks, it still looks pretty gay, just because it doesn't look like legit. So what you can do is you can, so for each layer right here, you can change it a little. So you see, right now it's a normal, but you can do things like overlay, make it kind of merge it in, soft light, hard light, all sorts of different things, subtract. Um, mostly it, you learn this stuff in experimentation or a different video in mind, you know? So let's just put a hard light, just because I know the stuff, and then it's also just kind of faded a little. Now, pretty cool, but if you, if you, one thing is when you select a layer, it's got this little yellow nonsense over here to show you that it's selected, but it can also hide some nasty stuff. So I were to click over here, I can see that there's like some stuff right there. Um, so let's just, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Oh snap! Sorry. Remember, the biggest thing is, so right now, I have to click this layer if I want to edit it. So it only, that way I don't actually edit the shirt. You know what I'm saying? And carry, and carry, and carry, and carry. Let's see what it looks like now. It's still okay, still okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Dios mio. Yeah, it's looking now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's just let's just fade it a little more, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. You know, if this was a real job, I'd be I'd be working on this thing like a dog. Okay. Now let's just quick tutorial. Yeah, let's spice this bro up even more. So let's add another layer. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where'd I put this? Uh, slips. Uh, no, just right here. Let's let's get presidential in this. Okay. So as you can see, right click on it, add an alpha channel. And then this one, yeah, let's just let's just free draw this one, you know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just free draw this. Okay, let's just let's just free draw this. I'm just I'm just straight up erasing. And yeah, I don't use my mouse for this. I just use the track rather than computer. You know why? Because I am, I'm just, I'm just skilled like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm just skilled like that. Uh, you don't need to pay no traffic tickets. You know what I'm saying? All right. And this thing is way too big for this brother. So let's just minimize this sucker right here. Oh, yeah. Grab this corner right here. Now let's move this frosty head right here in the middle of the cereal bowl. And let's just, uh, what should we do? Darken. Now, I'm a little scary. Overlay. Oh, that's cosmic. Soft light, hard light. Let's use a little hard light, reduce a little. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, that is a shirt. Okay, so. Um, let's just say if you have something, so like, if you want, you want to save this, you want to save it so it doesn't, like, it keeps this place empty. So if you want to put a Microsoft Word or something like that, or a, a logo, um, you want to save it as a PNG file, not a JPEG file. If you, if you save it as a JPEG file, let's just say, okay, over here, file, there's two different types. There's save, which is saving the project, this whole thing, and there's export, which is what you're going to export as. So let's just save it. Let's just say shirt design. I'm going to show you what happens if you use a JPEG. Uh, there's some options, quality, and activity. Yeah. So, you do the shirt design as a JPEG, it the thing adds a white for you. So if you were to put it in something like Microsoft Word, that white's gonna be a solid and block things. Now if you save this oh God. let's just say if you save this as the PNG, which is what you want to save it as. Let's say export yeah. Like you, it's it's gray right here. So, JPEG fills in with white, which you don't want, because then when you put on something, it blocks. PNG, which we call it, keeps it empty. So if you put on something, this part will still be empty. All right, that's today's tutorial. I don't want to make this last too long. It's already 14 minutes. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Peace, brother, out.